Hello, my name is Nick Van Doom and I write a range of computing and digital skills books for In Easy Steps, the UK's largest computing publisher. The aim of the books is to simplify the computing process and take the mystery out of using computers, laptops, smartphones and much more. The books are produced in full colour, have an easy to follow step by step description for each process and use images to illustrate the steps, as well as dozens of helpful tips and hints included in the margins. We also recognise that the older generation can approach the world of computing from a different viewpoint to younger people, who have grown up with the likes of smartphones, Facebook and Snapchat. This has resulted in a range of For Seniors titles written specifically with this age group in mind. These books cover a number of topics including iPads, iPhones, Android tablets, the Alexa smart speaker, video chatting and laptops. For the Silver Surfers members, I will produce a series of short videos dealing with the devices and topics covered in my books. Starting with this one that looks at the range of computing devices that are available, the software that gives them their functionality and some tips about buying the right device for you. So let's get started by looking at the range of devices that are out there in the tech world. One of the most important issues when choosing a computer or a tablet is to make sure that the device meets your needs rather than spending a lot of money on something with a range of features which you will probably never use. To help with this, make a list of the main activities that you want to do with your device and, if possible, seek advice from your local computer shop rather than one of the larger electrical retailers. Tell them exactly what you're looking for and don't let them bamboozle you with a stream of techno babble. Of course, if you do want to take part in high-end multiplayer video games, then make sure you buy a device with the relevant specifications. But personally, I'll leave this side of the computing world to the younger generation. Also, for some aspects of computing devices, it is important to physically use them before you buy them, rather than just ordering them online. For instance, physically the trying the size of a keyboard is recommended, particularly as this is something you will be using on a regular basis. The main choices when choosing a computing device are desktop computers, which are powerful but have now generally been replaced by more mobile devices, laptops, which offer a good combination of power and mobility, tablets, such as the iPad, which is the ideal combination of functionality and size, and smartphones, which these days are essentially powerful computers which also happen to be able to make phone calls. Make sure you th that you choose a device that has a large enough screen so that you can easily see everything on it. Desktop computers can be used with separate monitors of varying sizes. Laptops come in a range of sizes, generally becoming more expensive the larger they are. And tablets usually have a maximum screen size of approximately 13 inches. When dealing with screen sizes, the specifications refer to the diagonal dimensions of the screen. It is always important to look at the specifications when buying any computing device, and one of the most useful is known as RAM, which stands for Random Access Memory. This is also sometimes referred to as computer memory, but it is different from storage memory which stores your documents, photos and music on your computer. RAM is used to perform and execute the operations and commands on your computing device, so the more RAM you have, the faster your computer will run. If you are going to upgrade one element of your computing device, make it the RAM. The computing world loves jargon and one of the aims of the In Easy Steps books is to break this down and explain computing technology in plain English. One of the first terms that you may come across is operating system or OS. In simple terms, this is the software that is installed onto a computing device by its manufacturer to give it its functionality. Without it, your device would just be an inanimate collection of silicon, plastic and glass, albeit with varying degrees of aesthetic design. The Windows operating system from Microsoft is used on the majority of desktop and laptop computers in use. The Mac OS operating system is used on Apple's desktop and laptop computers, such as the iMac and MacBooks. iOS is installed on iPhones, iPad OS on iPads and the Android operating system on all other smartphones and tablets. My books cover all of these devices and operating systems and they will be looked at in future videos.
In the next video, I'll be looking how you can quickly get up and running with any computing device and its operating system. I'll show some examples from my books on iPads, iPhones, Android devices and Windows, and demonstrate some options for getting started, so that you can feel confident about using any of these devices. I'll also look at cloud computing and how this can be used to ensure that you never lose anything on your computer again. Until then, thanks for watching and happy computing.